ఓం శ్రీ గణేషాయ నమ ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ అక్షయ తృతీయ ఇస్ రౌండ్ ద కార్నర్ అండ్ వీఆర్ ఆల్ హియర్ టు జస్ట్ లర్న్ అ ఫ్యూ థింగ్స్ అబౌట్ అక్షయ తృతీయ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద గోల్డెన్ డే వెన్ గాడ్ ఇస్ లక్ష్మి ఎమర్జ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సముద్ర మంతన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ద డే వెన్ ధనవంతి రిషి అండ్ సో మెనీ అదర్ గాడ్స్ అండ్ సెలెస్టియల్ బీయింగ్స్ అండ్ మెనీ మెనీ ప్రెషియస్ జెమ్ స్టోన్స్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఎమర్జ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సముద్ర మంతన్ now this is the day where all of us are used to buying gold we go to gold shops and we buy gold we buy silver and then we say at least 1 gram of gold we need to buy but today i'm here to tell you a sutra which you can do to make sure that your existing gold itself manifests multifold now how is that possible you may wonder because existing gold will remain see i have a 10 10 gram gold it will just be 10 gram so how will it become more i'll tell you this year we are doing the kaudi mata puja so what is this lakshmi kaudi puja i have sent out messages and posts on youtube also telling people to sign up for this so basically here we are going to pray to goddess lakshmi as swarna lakshmi and swarna mata so basically she is embodiment of gold now what happens here is that we use the mantras tantrically uh, we apply those mantras and energize the kaudis or the shells so what we do is on this particular day Uh, Dakshay Tritya, which is a Sarvartha Siddhi Yoga, the whole day is considered very auspicious. So we energize the Kaudi shells with the Lak- Swarana Narayana and Swarana Lakshmi Mantra. So when we do this, basically, and give it to you, I mean, after programming it in your name, you can keep it, like we'll give you six Kaudis. So you can actually keep it in your puja room, you can keep it in your wallet, you can keep one in the cash box, or you can keep one in your bank locker. So wherever you have valuables, not just gold, but wherever you have valuables, you can just keep it so that it enhances the energy. See, off late, I have been getting a lot of calls where people say, I have pledged my wife's Mangal Sutra, I have... a uh, pledged gold and i'm not able to you know i've taken a gold loan and i'm not able to take it back i'm not able to repay the debts and um, you know every year even on akshay tritya i want to buy gold but i'm not able to buy so people from various walks of life reach out to me for help through astrology and through pujas and i see that you know a lot of gold is actually going to banks and they're pawning and you know pledging gold and then uh, getting money and they're not able to get back their recover their lost gold so all this is because you don't know how to re-energize and value and you know keep the sanctity of the gold that you have don't just look it as uh, look at it as ornament but look at it more as goddess lakshmi herself that is very very important and uh, you know when once you do that you'll never get into that state you know wo nobad nahi aayegi we say in hindi so you'll never get into that uh, state where you'll have to pledge gold and that gold will remain with you that is very important second thing is it will also enhance the cash flow it will increase your opportunities to in, uh, you know in, improve your financial status improve your income you will get develop lot of passive income streams and existing money also you'll know how to multiply beat inflation so many things that you know uh, that is happening like people often keep fds and then they say yeah this is the safest thing to do but i'm not an advisor on that but uh, you know generally what happens when it uh, is not able to beat inflation then their money is not growing so they're stagnant so they feel like yeah i'm earning well everything is fine but i'm just not able to and uh, people have very compulsive uh, financial habits like compulsive buying you know you buy so many things you ju- you just uh, you know if there's a sale on amazon or flipkart you just want to buy because there's a sale or if you like some design you just buy it but earlier in the olden days our ancestors were not like that so they you would buy only when there was a need for it or when they were there were festivals year mark like we have yugadi we have diwali we have uh, dasara so certain festivals were year marked and whenever there was a festival to mark the festival to celebrate they would buy uh, you know yearly couple of times in a year so it was all very disciplined you know nowadays republic day sale independence day sale so we just have to find a reason to buy now that has become the order of the day and if that happens then how on earth will we even be able to uh manifest or uh, you know save or grow our monies we cannot in fact uh, people find pujas and all as not an investment but more of an expense you know if uh, the a transit happens and uh, ram navami for example just let's take the example of this year's uh, uh, what do we say akshay tritiya so first ram navami happened in the jupiter transit puja and then now this so they'll be wondering how many pujas do we do but they don't look at this as an investment because see once you do this you get the energized kaudis for the akshay tritiya for example you keep one everywhere then you will know the value of it gets enhanced many times the prices of gold 
you know the fluctuation that is there it will go on the higher side for your benefit and you know uh, so many good things have happened with the Akshay Tritya Pujas from the past few years for people they buy gold they get gifts which are like uh, gold only like their parents their in-laws give them gold so it's amazing the feedback that I get uh, you know on uh, such pujas so but I feel sad for people who uh, just don't see the value for this and they just look at this as an expense I always tell people like how you keep having your RDs and FDs and uh, SIPs or whatever you do for your financial uh, status to improve or the conscious discipline that you do you should also consciously save up to do pujas because once you do that get yourself talismans you get yourselves um, uh, these cowdies like when we are doing festivals like this this we all this we do only once in a year so when you do that it's like great you make hay while the sun shines and that was so reasonably priced. So uh, then what happens, you enhance your uh, prospects for improving the value of their existing assets. See, that is very important, no? Like people keep it even with documents of uh, their properties. When they do that, the value of the property also goes up. That is the magic of Devi Lakshmi and she is Swarana Lakshmi. Uh, like how during the, um, you know, Gauri Puja, we say Swarana Gauri Vrata. Why? That swar word Swarana has so much importance because gold is liquid cash, gold is precious, gold holds the energy of for gods goddesses why do we need to uh, you know make them wear gold ornaments when they are gods they don't need anything we think like that right so but actually it's like gold itself is energy it holds the energy it holds the vibration of the mantra so well so even the cowdies cowdies are natural right so from the sea See, again, see product again because Lakshmi manifested from there. So what happens is that, you know, that has to carry the energy back to your, your gold, your wealth, your cash, your property papers, your documents and so many other things. So, you know, you should all try to, uh, you know, make a conscious effort to go for this Akshay Tritya Puja only because I see you people suffering so, so much. You keep taking consultations year after year and don't do any remedies. Nothing is going to change. Your, your status will remain the same and probably I will get richer because you keep booking consultations. But my aim is not to just give you uh, guidelines to say this is what your planet is saying but I want to tell you one step ahead how to beat that, that same karmic routine. How to uh, maneuver that and make sure you get what you want. See, that is very, very important that, you know, from your existing state, you need to go to a higher state. You know, when you come back to me for a consultation next year, you should be able to tell after I did this puja, this is exactly what I achieved. And therefore, I want to do this this year so that I can achieve something higher. That should be the goal. And um, coming back to the Akshay Tritya Puja, the, the energized cowries, they will always carry the energy. It's perennial. You don't have to do anything but just, you know, show dhoop and uh, keep keep it in a sacred place, clean place. That's all you need to do. Uh, other things, it will just help you in multiplying your money. It will help you in multiplying your gold. Think about this. Instead of going and buying gold, you know, giving cash and buying gold every year, Certain years, you should also look at things which will help you get more. See, what I mean to say is with these kind of things, uh, you know, sudden unexpected gains you'll have. So, otherwise people, you know, I, I know so many people who will actually borrow money and go buy gold. Now, that is not the way you are supposed to buy gold. With this kind of a puja that we are doing, you will, uh, all those situations you can avoid. You will never get into a phase of borrowing. You will be out of your debt cycle and my aim is that if you have pledged your gold for something doing this puja, you should be able to get it back. I mean, not just this, but definitely there are other remedies which you will have to do. Uh, I mean, if you have gone through a reading, I would have told you personally, but those who have not yet taken up a reading through me and who just want a quick solution and they don't want to go through the grind of, uh, you know, reading and trying to understand their planetary positions. I just want to get rid of my problem. If that is your state of mind, go for this Akshay Tritya Puja because this is the day she manifested. La Goddess Lakshmi, as Swarana Lakshmi, she manifested today on the day of Akshay Tritya. And that is the day where we say Sarvakari Siddhi Yoga. It's such a good titi to do all auspicious activities, you know. It is very, very auspicious. And on that day when we are using a tantric mantra to energize the cowdies and give it to you, just imagine it will be like totally programmed in your name. Those six cowdies are yours. 
it is meant to uh, improve your financial stability it is meant to improve your uh, financial growth status it is uh, your net worth and your gold whether you say a cash component or you, you want to buy a house you want whatever may be your goal your materialistic goal it is something that will help you enhance that so i always feel people forget the element of grace and they just chase and they feel their physical activities their mental activities their work is what is going to give them money i know so many people who are so capable of earning money who are so talented who are so skilled who are like so qualified and who are efficient and still they are not earning why why have you ever thought of it because they lack the element of grace and these are the small pujas that you can do for yourself and individually and enhance your capabilities of earning but on the contrary if you see there are so many people who are so undeserving and they earn so well they'll be so inefficient they'll be like delegating most of their work to others they'll be sitting happily chatting they just do their 9 to 5 job they just uh, biometrically log in and then they come out but still they're earning so well don't you feel like i mean so many people call me and say they feel jealous about that person and how is it that they're earning they without much struggle and we are actually struggling and we're not getting it enough that's because the element of grace your past life karmas all of this have to be taken into account so those who are not karmically ready to enjoy these materialistic gains need that push and that push can come through this akshay tritiya puja so um i would definitely say spend mindfully and don't be compulsive buyers you don't need to buy clothes every now and then uh, think about our ancestors how beautifully they had programmed themselves to be like that second thing is they didn't get into the debt zone ever because they had gold and they didn't mind parting with gold to get something but today we are all so habituated to take loan to go through emis no cost emis and so many things there are so many companies which tempt us you know bajaj finance and this and that and so many companies you know tempt us to get into these um, emis in my state of mind so what happens is we, we are just used to habituated to uh, you know borrow so we don't feel anything you know there the society was so restricted one person would take loan everybody would know so they were very conscious they would give their gold they would sell their gold and you know uh, meet their financial commitments be happy and then again slowly save up to so they knew the value of saving you know that is so beautiful so whereas we don't know at all we're just we have a credit card today i need something impulsively i'll just buy it because i want it or if somebody else has it and i have not got it fear of missing out we say it's the fomo uh, policy you know anybody uh, i don't want to miss out on this everybody is doing this so that is not what you need you just have to look at your requirement you have to be mindful about your state and akshay tritiya puja will help you get to that state because akshay tritiya will give you lakshmi is gnana she is uh, she is embodiment of wisdom so she will tell you when to spend when to what to cut you know i know so many people uh, who will say the things like i am cutting down on my food you know food bills and you know i'm not eating enough because i want to save up is that the way to save that is so pathetic that is really pathetic the food is the basic necessity for a human being to function well to function efficiently so what we need to do is to eat well we we have to eat well nourish our body so that we don't get into health problems so very soon they will again come up to me and say now i'm having loads of health issues because i'm nutrition deprived or my lifestyle is not okay and blah 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 so now see whereas in the ancient times uh, our ancestors would not eat sweets every day they would make sweets or prepare sweets during festivals and that is the time they would make kheer or uh, whatever obbattu the, the puran poli whatever those delicacies are we was only that season based even the fruits were seasonal now because we get everything every time we eat everything every time so we have more health issues than before although the medis- medical uh, system is advanced so much because the rogies or the uh, the ones who you know fall sick is be- increased you know the ones who have diseases and disorders have increased so what i want to tell you in all in all through this video is that akshay tritiya puja will help you in improving your health also because in every possible way goddess lakshmi will guide you we only equate her to lakshmi is equal to money lakshmi is equal to gold lakshmi is equal to wealth it's not like that lakshmi is equal to mindful spending a lot of saving investing growing helping others too so this is exactly exactly what we are supposed to do and when we help others also the more we help others the more we get money so that we don't do and you see ancestors would always give bhiksha to whoever comes at the door so that was our routine and during the shravan mass uh, going and seeking bhiksha was a habit it was a part of the uh, practice and custom now we don't because it's ego why who will go and 
uh, you know, I would still remember my cousins would go to every house and say Venkateshaya Mangalam and ask for Bhiksha. So that was like, you know, to also humble you. But uh, nowadays we don't do any of those things and uh, now it's more like um, you don't want to give, you don't want to take. It's like that. But whatever you want to ask and uh, take, it's from the banks, it's from your credit cards to say make sure that nobody knows or even if they know it doesn't matter, it's become more like a status symbol. So basically, in every possible way, she will guide us to save up money, to enhance our, uh, you know, it's not going to just uh, fall from the sky and you're not going to get money from the sky and say, yeah, yeah, I, I became wealthy all of a sudden. But yes, if you are very mindful and deserving, some people may think, ah, if I give him this gift, he will know how to value it. So I can actually give him. Whereas will you uh, give somebody who will just go and sell your gold? If I give a gift to you today and say keep this and tomorrow I get to know you've gone and sold it for money and uh, and you've had uh, alcohol or something like that, then I would think Ayo, I should not have probably given it to him. The same thing if you value it and keep it and say oh Mekla gave me gold and this is so valuable, so precious, I know how to use this. Then then it makes sense, right? Then more people will think, ah, that guy is deserving, he is very smart, he knows how to manage his money. So like that, we need some some, some sort of sense also to manage our money. And Akshatritya is a great day to energize the Kaudis. So, uh, and that is what we are going to do. Tantric mantras are very effective. They work very, very fast and uh, they cut through all the obstacles, karmic obstacles in a very shortcut way. So, what we are doing is on that particular day, six Kaudis we will energize in your name with that particular mantra and send it to you. Keep it with you. It's so auspicious, it's so precious that you know it will enhance your. A good luck element, it will uh, increase your wealth, it will also give you a lot of sense, financial sense. You will become far more mindful and not get carried away by any sale or anything. You will buy only when you need it and if you require it and you will also buy good stuff. If this goes, next something else will come. So you don't have to worry and uh, you won't be missing out on something if you don't buy it. That's what I mean to say. So all those, those sense of... Um, contentment and the insecurity will go so you feel so secure you'll know everything is destined for you all good things are destined for you so you will get what you want you don't have to run for anything or chase anything all this is possible only with goddess lakshmi's blessings and akshay tritya is definitely the day that you should you should seek her blessings uh, i'm sure after watching this video all of you will reach out to me and I do look forward to all of you reaching out to me. I wish you all the best and may all your financial troubles end soon. I seriously feel these are small openings towards big opportunities and you should all make good use of that. Thank you so much. Namaste.